Hello again, lovely students. Uh, how are you doing? So, in this uh, relatively and hopefully short video, I'll be finalizing uh, the lessons of uh, Grammar 3, or not the lessons, rather uh, the tips I've got for you, my final uh, suggestions for you, okay? Uh, a reminder, my name is Daniel Lewis, I teach uh, Grammar Level 3 in Kurt Verbun, okay? Uh, Alright, so uh, some final comments I've got for you about how to master in, in, in grammar, okay? Uh, first thing I've, I've here is that you learn the rules, okay? I've been talking about the rules, this is present perfect, this is past perfect, um, you know, this is conjunctions, this is uh, the rules of passive, this is this, this is that. You First you need to learn those and hopefully learn them well, okay? In a good way. After you have them uh, learned and remembered, uh, you should never and ever think that you know all of them. It it requires a lot of a lot of time to learn uh, the the grammar, because the grammar does not stand alone. It stands with writing and with with listening, with uh, with speaking. You have to apply the grammar to all of these fields, uh, and it should take a lot of time because. Excuse me, because the mind is not used to being tested that much in a, in a in a language that is not it is native one. So it will take it will take some time, and definitely for the English language because it's a standardized language, it should take you some time to learn it. And it's okay, you know, there's no shame in it. It will take time. You have to study hard. You have to work hard. I remember I. I learned the language in, in, in seven months, okay, and not, not practically well, it required me to work harder after that as well, so it, it should take you time, okay, it should take you time and it's normal, okay, you never learn it overnight, it will, it will take you some time and that some time requires you to practice, requires you to do different things and try different ways, okay, and about the grammar, there's something people usually ask, um, where do I break rules? Do I ever break rules? Is it okay to, to speak grammatically all the time? You know, is there a way out? The answer is, pretty honestly, is that it's always possible to break rules. But you should know why you are breaking the rules, okay? Uh, this is a comma here, I can take it out, it's okay. But I should know why I'm doing that, okay? I should know why I'm doing that, because I'm writing on a uh, on a slide and I don't really need a comma for, for that, right? Because I'm not speaking. So There are ways you can get rid of things but you should always know why okay you should always know why you should know the reason this is pretty much my advice for you I don't care what method you use I don't care how you learn the grammar as long as you know these four things okay you should never forget these four things okay and think about grammar rules I forgot this one think about it whatever you're doing okay when you're reading this, think about what I've written here. Is this past simple? Is it present simple? Think about what I'm saying right now, okay? So try to, to match it with your level of grammar and try to learn the things you don't know already, alright? So, uh, this is the most important thing. This is what I always say, okay? Find your own way, okay? There are some, some tips here, but the most important thing is that you learn things through your own ways, okay? Uh, I remember when I was at, when I was learning the language, I liked football, I liked snooker, billiard. Uh, I also liked um, reading books, okay? Uh, and um, I also, you know, I like talking, I really did. I still do, I like talking. So through these things, because I like them, I also like them in English, and I also like them in Kurdish. So it helped me thrive for I, what I wanted. I always wanted to be a teacher. So when, when, I, when I was learning English, I had that in mind. I don't o only need English to pass TOEFL or to pass uh, the ILAP exam or whatever the ILAP exam, what am I saying? Uh, any kind of those exams. What I wanted was to learn it to be able to teach it later. Because I had a goal in mind, I was able to learn it. Uh, I should stop talking about myself and, and get to the point, okay? So, one very important way in learning the grammar is reading, okay? Reading is very, very important. Because in reading, you can see exactly what is standard.
for the grammar. When I speak, it might be hard for you to distinguish between the words and to, to be able to follow up with my grammar. Or when you are speaking, it might be hard for you to know what you are doing. But when you are reading, it is pretty easy to, to observe the grammatical points and uh, it's pretty easy to digest them and learn them okay and it's it's always good to to, to say it you know to say them out loud uh, and and to to be able to replicate uh, what they uh, show okay the second most important thing in in learning the grammar is finding a good grammar book okay finding a good grammar book and referring to it all the time will help you master the grammar easier, okay? But only use one book, okay? One, one type of book anyways. Try to use one series of books, okay? Don't change writers uh, a lot. If it is one book, then you will get your own uh, pace of learning and it will be easier to learn, okay? And always re review the book, okay? Try to always re review the book. So when you get the book, Try to review it all the time. If you make a mistake, go back to the book. What did I do wrong? Not all, all mistakes. The, 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 more, the more basic mistakes you make. You try to go back to your book. Say, what was past simple? What was present simple? What was present continuous? What was you know, past perfect continuous? What did they mean? Where do we use them? So try to go back to those. It's always useful. Okay. And again, observe others and listen to others when they talk. Okay. Try to find their mistakes. Correct it for them. It's always good. It's always good to be a, be be able to go be a good reviewer for others' work. Okay. And write with caution of grammar. When you write, think about the grammar. Think about what you are writing and what they mean to to the reader, and what will pick what will they uh, the picture in their mind. Okay. So try to. Oh, that's not a good color. Red is not a good color, even though it is my favorite. Oh, black is my favorite. So, keep this in mind, okay? And get help from others. It's always useful. But before you get help, proofread before you give your writings to others. So, if you write something and you want people to look at it, first look at it yourself. Try to, to catch as, much as, uh, as many mistakes as you can. Then give it to others and, and help make, you know, get help from other people, okay? This is the most important uh, point I've got here. Not only about grammar, about learning the language as a whole. Have enthusiastic people around you. Have people who are interested in English, who love English, okay? Don't talk with somebody who doesn't love the language much, much enough and, and try to help you. They don't help you. They make you disappointed in the language. Try to surround yourself with people who are trying and sincerely trying to learn the language. That way, you will be able to learn faster, okay? People, maybe native people, or maybe people who are really good at the language, they will help you, okay? Uh, last, but certainly not least, uh, take it easy. Take it easy, yeah, as easy as they say. Because, because it will come to you soon, okay? Uh, the language, it should take you time again, but it is not that hard. Your brain is very well capable of learning and and um, on systemizing itself with the language, so it is not a very hard task for it. I mean, there are people who speak eight languages, ten languages, many many people who are uh, bilingual, and so it is not a very hard task. But it should take time. So always have that in mind. If you work hard, it will come to you, and that's the most important point about learning language, ain't it? So. My final slide here, my final, final slide, possibly, uh, is first, good luck to you. I hope you succeed. I have a smile face here. Uh, and um, you can always contact me, okay? These are my uh, contact information. Here's my email. Here's my, my other email. Email me if you need help. And here's my Viber contact. Chat me. Do not call me, please. My mom doesn't like it. But you can always chat me, okay? You can always chat me, ask me for help. I will not review your papers, but I will I'll give you uh, decent help and I will be polite to you. I should do anyways. So uh, keep it going. I trust, I have trust in you and I hope you can do it. So inshallah, work hard and try to succeed. Bye-bye.
خواهد حفیظ